Welcome back to Let's Play Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. In the last episode, um, we activated a shortcut thing in this general area. And from what I remember, we did a whole lot of nothing. I think we may have fought the, um, I'm pretty sure we did fight the, uh, last morphball only boss of the game. It, uh, didn't really reward us with anything at all. You know, whatever. Also, we're out of ammunition again. Although that shouldn't come as a surprise, because we've been out of ammunition pretty much this entire area. Um... It again, uh, this is another room where somewhere here there should be one of those. Dudes. No, not them dudes. Uh, one of them outlined dudes because I believe they're usually in the same area as the lum as the, um, the special lumen, the important lumen off. I could be wrong. I don't know. Oops. Was that a darkening door? That was a blue door. Whoops. Um, actually, let's take a gander. Because, um, I'm pretty sure, I'm almost 98% sure we're, the thing we're going for is somewhere in... In, um, Temple Grounds. Although, maybe not, because we've explored everywhere in Temple Grounds, it would seem. Thing is, I have no idea where it would be if it wasn't. Unless it's a dark world only thing. Uh Yeah. I've sort of been um trying to avoid Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's in the Temple Grounds area, but I have no way... I, ca I can't find any area that it would be in. Actually, I'm willing to bet it's there, because we only recently got access to that area. Is there going to be a new enemy in here? Since we killed off all the Ink Smashers? And if so, what enemy is it going to be? None of them, apparently. I'm okay with that. Again, normal Ink Smashers, at least the ones that spawn in the walls like that, do not respawn. Uh, yeah, this is going to lead to Aegon. Actually, we can go this way now. Um, not sure where that gets us, though. Because in Aegon, we've also explored pretty much everywhere. Except this door, which is where the elevator takes us. 
yeah, we explored pretty much everywhere else. Oh. And then in Torvis, well, we were just there. We've also pretty much explored everywhere, so... Not many places left to explore in the light world, so it's definitely somewhere in the dark world, then. Um, because... Otherwise, we would have seen it already. Where's the door? That is not the door! I wonder what happens if I get hacked in Morph Ball mode. Saving for good measure, wishing this was the dark world, because then the map room would actually be an ammo station. No bother. Um, I don't think we need to fight any enemies that are protected against one or the other, one element or the other, so... We should be fine. Ah, that's a res bit there. You jerks. Oh my goodness, they actually dropped light beam ammo. They, like, never do that. And also, I'm in no need of light beam ammo. They, they really didn't even need to bother. Also, wait. There must have been another room that I showed it off in. The, uh... I'm gonna have to go back and look what room I look I showed that off in. Yes! You've only said that every time we entered this room. Good god. But I think we needed to use it to leave the main area of the temple. Also there's an enemy. Somewhere. Or maybe it's just these things. I think it's just those things. This, by the way, coolest elevator room ever. Um, not talking much. Gonna have to fix that. I mean, I'm kind of excited to f hopefully finish this game soonish. Um, just like Metroid Prime 1, I've played up to the point where we had to get the... Well, we... I had to get all the keys, then I was like, I'm bored now, and then I stopped. Oh, well now we're going to know exactly where we have to go. I wouldn't say powerful, it's usually... It's pretty... Oh. Well, this says two things. Number one, we can get through here. In fact, in fact, we have to do so in the dark world. Well, that's a little bit sad face because we just came from there. I'll, uh, cut when I get back there, then. Okay, so I'm sort of back. Um, this way's actually a lot closer, so that's why I'm going this way, and right, there's a turret here. And there's also an item we can get pick up on the way there, uh, actually... There's one of them in this room. If one of them is, then there's no point. No, I'll come back for this um, on a later date. Oh, lower scan. 
There are res bits in this room now. I don't like that. Sanctuary Falls. Our battered forces gathered in the Sanctuary Fortress to prepare for the inevitable siege there. They didn't wait long. Wave after wave of Ing assaulted the greatest of our fortresses. With one goal in mind, to seize the energy there, the Ing turned the machines of Sanctuary against our warriors, and soon all was lost. The energy of Sanctuary was taken by the Ing. Only one energy controller remained on Aether. Well, I mean, the energy controller was always there. It was just the energy that it used. Ah! Well... Guess we're in the dark world. Now we're gonna be heading down and head back to the light world. Now I think we're gonna cause all the res bits to, sca to spawn. Which is exactly what I want. That's sarcasm, by the way, that's not what I want at all. Ah, here it is. You weren't gonna make it easy for me. I just simply Putting them all in one thing again. Uh oh, right, this is the room with the um cannons. So this may or may not be the last time we enter this room ever. Oops. Let's try that again, except this time with all uh, one hundred percent less falling into the pit. Dang it. I should. Really? You can hack me from this range? Come on. Thank you. All right, with that out of the way, we need to find a way to activate, or, well, we need to first find and then um, activate the portal that is in this room. Because we can't get through that room. And the portal appears to be on our level, but in the back, which makes me think it's just hidden from view. Ah. That appears to be a force field of some kind. Which means that there's some way past it. This looks like something, but apparently it is nothing. Uh, I feel that it has something to do with this. I feel that that's an output, actually.
That thing appears like it's gonna fire somewhere. Um. Oh, perfect. Hmm. Looks like our first goal, though. Let's get up here. Get over here and use this magnet ball track. And then use bombs to... Oh. Yeah, okay. That's what I thought. To get over to here. Drop down and then use this. Land on here. Ah, and there's a bomb slot that I guarantee you will do the thing we want it to do. I think you're actually able to use boost ball there. Nope! I don't even understand how that happened. But I'll take it because it spawned me back here. I get it now. There's like a little, um, two little signpost things that sort of point indicate when you want to bomb. I'll be right back. Um, oh, but the red things, I was, oh, I can't see them from here, never mind. I do not remember this being this complicated on my first playthrough. I'm not sure if I actually made it here in my second playthrough, though. But, uh, these two red things on either side of the thing, you want to place a bomb there. So, if you want to know what they look like and where they are, they're pretty much where I start laying a bomb. Okay. Much better. That's what I thought it would do. I sense we're going to probably be fighting dark pirates on the other side. I need to figure out where the um, ammo expansion is and in here. Ah, and there's the key. Oh. Oh, okay, good. Okay, I know which door we want to take now. We want to take that door. In fact, I suspect that there's going to be a, some mysterious manner to get that involving this door. Ah. Actually, I don't know why I'm bothering you this far away, because you can, uh, target dudes while grappling. Like so. Uh... Oh, I distinctly remember... 
there being a certain type of enemy. Ah! I see, okay. And then we go down here to get to the light portal down here. Let me go to light aether. Light aether. Regular aether, whatever. Oh, and the new... Okay, I remember the new enemy is too. It's in, it's in the room with the power-up in it. I sense there's more than just that one. In fact, I think each of these is one is, an, is one is a respite. Um, but you can sort of see it there taunting us. Um, it looks different than normal, but this is indeed the screw attack. Um, normally it looks like Samus's symbol, but yeah, this is indeed the screw attack. Pretty snazzy. It's an upgrade. And then we bomb this. And the lasers turn on, but nothing happens. That's because we have to go aim the lasers. And to do that... We need... Uh, I don't remember quite what we have to do, but basically what we have to do is we need to find a way to get to that dark portal and reorientate the lasers. Get into that dark portal is either going to be the most complicated or the most simple thing I've ever done. Uh, but I thought you could just grapple or cross or something. I know we need to get over there. Oh. I could just scan- I could probably do it by scanning this totally obvious scan terminal. That'd probably do her. Uh, now we have a new enemy. Or we should have a new enemy. Oh, there they are. They're coming to say hi! Now, you might think these are ordinary war wasps. But I guarantee you, these are no ordinary war wasps. These are dark war wasps. Dark war wasps, Starkling possess Aerial Hunter. Sturdy insect gains strength from ink possession. It retains the ability to fire blasts of energy. Now these ones don't... I mean, I can tell there's an obvious difference. They definitely have the same sort of dark enemy style, but at the same time, I never really noticed difference. I mean, looking at it now, it's pretty obvious what the difference is. Uh, but, you know, whatever. Don't waste your time fighting them. They're not that hard to deal with. Stop attacking me! We're in a cutscene! Yeah, believe it or not, this is one of the last power-ups of the game. This is actually the last normal power-up that we outright find.
Did it miss? Did my super missile miss? I guess my super missile missed. I'm gonna go clear out the room before we start this puzzle. And, uh... Oh yeah, we're using up missiles, like, big time. Yeah, we gotta do is spin all of these. And then we're pretty much... Well, we're good. Um, we can fire out the lasers and they'll all activate the thing. And, uh... Well, we can go pick up our screw attack. I'm hoping that that hit him. Which indeed it appeared to have. Uh, hit. That, and now we just have the last one to deal with, which is that one there. Uh, then we have to make our way back. Um... Which isn't too hard. All we gotta do is, a uh, well, scan this. Yeah, now we're on our way back. Um... Yeah, now we're good. We can go pick up our prize. And after that, we will, believe it or not, have pretty much everything we need in order to, um... No, this is stuck in this position, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Which means we're pretty much stuck here. Or are we? Because we all know that Screw Attack is particularly well known for being paired up with a certain other ability. Well, it just so happens that most of the 3D, and by most I mean all of the 3D Metro games, every time you collect Screw Attack, you also gain the Space Jump ability. Now, it's not as awesome, it's never as awesome as it is in the 2D games, like... By far the worst is... Um, Metroid Other M. I hate... Sorry about that. I hate... I hate the, um... Space Jump in Metroid Other M. And I will get to why in, like, three seconds. And that's because in Metroid Other M, you cannot get any vertical momentum. M momentum. You cannot get any vertical, um... Anything. You also can't do it in this game if you're dumb. But in this game, I'm pretty sure you can recover. Or at the very least, it's not as hard to do it. But in Metroid Other M, it's sort of like the other, the 2D Metro games, in that it actually is challenging in order to do it. However, um, you can't get, unlike, unlike those games, you cannot get any vertical distance. Now, this game also does have a limitation, which you just saw there, and, and that's that you can only jump, uh, five times total. Two, three, four, five. 
but you get so much horizontal momentum, which is the other thing. You don't get much momentum in any direction. Thanks for the save, Ledge. Um, but now with Screw Attack, I believe we should theoretically be able to get the thing now. Unless I'm forgetting something. Um, also in this game, there are these special walls that you can sort of wall jump off of with the Screw Attack. Actually, I think that's a shield. You know, I really wish that Dark Beam Ammo wouldn't obey the laws. I actually think that's shielding, which means we won't be able to get that. You know, yeah, it's shielded. We won't be able to get that, but I'm surprised that I didn't... Yep. Which means... And I suspect... I know the reason why, but which means we all have to come in from... Down here, and I suspect... Yeah, in the Dark World we can get up there. However... Um... In the Dark World, we what we can't do... Is we can't get up here, I believe, is what it is. There's one direction what which we can't go, basically. This is, of course, going to cause the, um, space pirate, or the aero pirates to respawn. Also, I... I love a lot of the creature designs in Metroid uh, Prime 3. I'm going to... It's going to be, like, the first and only thing I'm going to say when I get to that game, and that's... Now, it says powerful, implying that you can kill enemies in one hit, like you could the 2D games. Problem is, uh, you can't. Not that I've discovered at the very least, because every time you try, um, they usually either dodge or evade you, or you hit something. So yeah. Not as awesome as its 2D counterpart. But, you know... It's pretty alright. I like it for distance traveling. It's really fun to use. Um, as a movement system, but... Eh. No. Oh, there are inglets in here now. Cute. Ah, yes. And here's that surface that I mentioned earlier. Wall jump surface. Creative name. Area designed to work with screw attack. Perform screw attacks facing and touching this wall to do a wall jump. It's a wall. We've scanned a wall. Um, this surface was designed to be used in conjunction with the screw attack system. Perform screw attack while attack attacks while facing and touching the wall to do a wall jump. Wow, they literally didn't even. Uh, you can't just spam it. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you want to push it the second you hit the wall, or else it'll just stop, cancel, or something. I don't know, I remember being able to spam it. That might just be in Prime 3. Screw you, give me beam ammo. And now we have all three temple, dark temple keys. 
So we can go to the Dark Temple. However, unfortunately, we're not going to do that because we have get to get the beam ammo. Although, hmm. Um, You know what? Food's the beam ammo. I don't require. I don't remember being that um relevant. The thing anyway. Binary is out of here. Screw you guys. Yeah. I do, again, plan on getting all the beam expansions. I just will look for them later. Now that we have the screw attack, we also should be able to bypass... Yeah. Oh! Oh! Spatial awareness. I have it. And by I have it, I mean I don't. Oh, uh, we have an episode. We have we haven't episoded this ending. Yes, perfect. That's what I meant to say. Completely. Uh, where's the portal that we need to use to get here? Uh, it's this one. And then in the dark world, there's a save room. Right right here, right? Yes, there is. So, you know what? We'll use that save room. It's a long episode already. No point. In, um, so there's not really any harm done in making it any like a, a ridiculously long, large amount long. Yes. This is correct. Now, I remember there being just a hallway with, like, just... It might have been Judgment Drop. I don't know, it was Hazing Cliff. See, I don't know where the, um, uh, whatever. Talk about this later, because we're on a... Well... Run out of time. So much so that I don't even care about that ing that I think I just avoided. Oh, this is going to go beautifully. You know what? That's where we started. Or no, wait. No, it isn't. But it doesn't go anywhere anyway, so that doesn't matter. Nailed it. So what I'm curious is, can we reach that area over there? Well, we can't if that happens. Invisible wall! <laughs> this has been Binary of the Wind, guys, because Binary is awesome, and...